Hello everyone, Kille Kaudewein here playing Football Manager 2017 with the Grasshoppers. Let's go! So, uh, second round qualifying draw is taking place right now. I'm gonna move fast through it. Uh, then we have it, you're gonna play against uh, a Danish team, Sander Juske. Sander Juske. Looks like a decent team. But I think we're gonna be the favorite coming into that match. Krefe Munoz says, hell yes, I want to play for you. Good job, good, good job. Uh, we can actually see that we are still under the wage budget. Uh, so far this season, uh, they're doing very well. Balance is good. Current season profit loss is also very good. I did say that I wanted to terminate the loan of Emil Bergström, so we're going to do that now, when we are allowed to do so. Uh, we'll save us some money and uh, give us a chance to instead uh, play with our own talents. Um, Nikola Miatovic might move up, but he's going to stay in the under-21 for a little bit here, because he needs uh, matches to play. We have Alban. Panishi instead that can fill the gap of Emil and we can see that we have played a few friendlies as well uh, against a Polish team we lost 1-2 Nikola Georgiev did score for us uh, then, then we played against an Austrian team uh, Ugendorf we won 1-0 Munas Tabor scored for us and then we also won against Paris Saint-Germain Reserves 2-1 and that match was finished after an own goal by Dan Axel Sagado. Uh, Rich Mansi also scored for us. We had an agent come to us and say that Juan Valera is uh, available to be signed. Uh, quite a good player if I say so myself, even if he's a bit, he's a bit old now. Not sure why he's been out without a club for a while. So this is what uh, Valera looks like. Not that good, but he's an all-rounder, so I think he can be useful. He can be very useful, actually. Uh, let's see what that changes for our team. Uh, he will not be able to play now in the matches against Sunderjuske. Uh, we need to register Juan Valera for league games, so there we go. Uh, fans seem to be rather happy with the signing. I'm not that sure, but yeah, what the hell? He, he was cheap, so why not? Uh, that means Devin Manko will be on the back burner for a little bit. He's gonna go down to the under 21 squad, and uh, hopefully he can improve a lot this season. Even if he does, I guess he will play maybe sometimes for uh, the main squad. But mostly he will be in the under 21 and hopefully he will be ready next season to take a spot. Uh, looks like we are ready to play. Uh, we're going to go with standard, flexible, no instructions. I have not done any settings on uh, on the players either. Uh, just positions, no, no settings here. So we will change that later on perhaps, but for now this is good for us and uh, we are ready to play so we need to decide on the substitutions here i think i'm gonna have sukachev on top here at the start uh, sharku you're gonna be on the sideline for now because i like sukachev 18 year old we can see he's already improving a lot i think he can have a big impact this season even if uh, tabur should be the main striker for us and Richie Mansi should also do quite well. But Sukashev should play a lot. And we want Xavi on the bench as well. Uh, gonna move around a little bit like that. Okay, we are ready to play. So my first real match as manager. We are gonna tell Sultan Kadar to take care of opposition instructions. 
and if he's saying, oh, I think I want to say something special here, come on lads, show me what you can do, passionate, start the match. <sighs> it's okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 Marko Mitrovic scores, Marko Mitrovic scores, Sandriuske have scored the first goal of the match. Not good, not good at all. Yes, yes, Mansi, well played everyone. I thought we were a little bit too far from the goal, we... Struggled to get into the box, but suddenly it happens. Tabur get the ball, turns around, finds Mansi, Mansi, and 1-1. Uh, we managed to steal the ball in midfield. Tabur gets a long ball, finds Mansi, and it's not quite good enough. A decent finish, but we can see that you are struggling to get the ball on target. 18 shots, 5 on target. That is uh, not good enough. Not good enough. But it's still a good first half, and as long as we can get one more goal in the second half, that's fine. Or maybe one here at the end of the first half. Mansi, Lavanchi. Oh, they're just passing around. You need to break out of this. There we go. Ciao. Yes, 2-1. Just before half time, the last kick of the half that should be. Caillou got the ball, and he managed to score. Well, oh, good job, good job. And the match should be... Oh, wow, I've said that the match should be over any second now, but then we get a surprise goal. Uh, Mansi, how did, how the hell did that go in? 41 shots this match, and then suddenly that goes in. Oh, it must have touched someone. Uh, touched one of the defenders. That would be the cause why the goalie just seemed to be in the wrong place. And now it's over. 1-3. Uh, we managed to win the first match uh, against Andrieski. Now we will need to play at home as well. But after this impressive performance, 41 shots, 19 on goal uh, in our first match. It can't be much better than that. Uh, of course, they had one shot on goal, and that was a goal, so that's not that great, but uh, still, wow, what a match. It, and even if you are not yet through to the next round, the draw will take place. Let's see who we will face. We are just doing this fast, so we can see who we will play. Oh uh, no, West Ham. Wow, if we win against Andrioske, and I'm gonna say that we will win against them, then we will face West Ham, and that is a super tough opponent. So, first match of the season in the league, uh, we are gonna play against St. Gallen, uh, a strong team actually. Let's uh, look at where they are predicted to be. Uh, in fifth place. And I think we are predicted to be in 6th place. Yes, media prediction 6th place. So St. Gallen is a team with the we need to beat. We need to beat them. Uh, especially at home here at the Letzigrund. A uh, few changes to the lineup. Uh, Lavenci did a very good match. But Valera is going to get a chance to show what he can do as well. Uh, what else do I want to do? I want to put in uh, Munoz. And uh, why not Sukachev as well? Even if Mansi was the best player in the last match, he's going to rest today, so he's ready for the next one. And I actually decided to put in Nikola Georgiev as well. Now let's go. Uh, St. Kallen is playing 4 4 1 1. Let's see if he can score here. Dabur, yes, 1 0. Uh, it's been a uh, a slow start to the match, that was the first highlight in the 32nd minute, and uh, Georgiev to Munoz, Dabur managed to find some space, and he finds the goal. Dabur, Dabur steals the ball, oh he's going to score again, 2-0, Munoz, Dabur, 
he is going to be so important for us this season. You can see that Hagu, Hagul, Hagul falls, Dabur scores 2-0. Uneventful second half so far. Looks like St. Gallen is going to get an attack here. Can we steal the ball? Or at least stop the attack? Okay, it's dangerous now, but we steal the ball. Good job. And then we create some space. Sukachev, can he find Dabur in the middle? Yes, he can. 3-0. No, Georgiev. It's Georgiev, our attacking midfielder. First match from the start. The young talent. Sukachev, also a young talent. Managed to find Georgiev in the middle. And 3-0. What a start to the season. So... This match is about to end. Dabur got the ball, but I think the referee is just going to blow the whistle. There we have it. 3-0. We win the first match uh, in the league. Uh, sadly, Georgiev did very well today, but uh, the injury at the end is rather serious. Rather serious. Uh, shin splints. Not good. Uh, six to seven weeks. Leave to physio. Some changes to the squad uh, before the match against Sandryuske as well. Of course, Georgiev can't take part. That uh, is a bit sad, but nothing we can do about it. Sukachev, he also did very well in his first match. One goal, uh, actually no goals, uh, but uh, Rich Mansi is going to play today. Uh, anyone else that is tired? Uh, we're going to let uh, Alvan Penishi start today. And Antono is going out instead of Mario Hermoso. Sigur Jonsson as well instead of uh, Lucas Andersson. Maybe change them. Yes, that's fine. We are ready to play. So, second match against Sandryuske. We are ready to play. They're playing a simple 4-4-2, it seems like. Uh, you can do the opposition instructions again. And pick up where they left off. That is fine. Let's see what we can do against this team today. So far, we haven't been able to find the goal. We have 11 shots, 0 on target. Woodwork there just happened. We just hit the post. <laughs> Why can't we get any balls on the goal in this uh, against this team? So, second half is starting. We didn't find the goal in the first one can we find it here in the second okay maybe we can find a late goal here yes yes we can Sigur Jonsson 1-0 4-1 total now I feel like nothing can stop us Sandryuske can't turn this around uh, a corner second ball comes out and Sigur Jonsson managed to find the net good job the end of the match is here I feel like if we had tried harder to push forward, maybe go into attacking mode, we could have scored a lot more. But uh, why risk it when you are winning anyway? Uh, that was a good solid win. Congratulate the team. We are through to the next round where we will face West Ham United. That is going to be super tough. But the money we gain, that is very, very good. Let's see if we can see the updated schedule. Yes. Uh, that will be the end of this episode. All the matches we are going to play in this episode have been completed. Uh, we can see that next time we will face West Ham. That is going to be a tough one. And I think there will be one more round of qualifying before the group stage starts. Uh, it should be. Uh, more Football Manager in the next episode. Until then, I am Kille Kauderwein. Thank you all for watching.